Hopefully that will keep people safe. New businesses are coming to Nashville, but the Nashville Electric Service says they have a problem with powering these places. Now they have a new policy to keep the lights on and curb delays for developers. News Channel 5's Tony Sloan's joining us live at NES downtown and, and Tony supply chain shortages are hitting Nashville pretty hard. Yeah, that's right, Amy, Ben, the Nashville Electric Service saying some of the things that are in short supply right now, poles, meters, and a certain type of transformer that's really important for power. Developers need those for construction. Now, it's caused projects all across Middle Tennessee to be delayed, and that's where the Nashville Electric Service have established a bring-your-own-transformer policy. So now NES, they'll allow builders to buy their own transformers for use during construction. NES will then set it up and connect it to their systems. Now these transformers do have to meet all of the specifications required to be considered, and the main goal is to keep the wheels turning for growth in the area. Another way NES is working to address the shortage is by buying offshore refurbished transformers from vendors and then placing larger orders years in advance. They're also recovering and working on the redeployment of used transformers that are in place but no longer in use. For example, a transformer at a closed factory. So this policy is in effect and it will help developers go through an easier time of getting power through their properties during the construction. Now there is a committee that's happening every two weeks to look at supplies and assess further steps to take a look at those issues uh, of the supply chain shortage. Of course, we'll keep you updated as they continue to have those meetings and work on trying to fix the issue.